boring me with this quantum mechanics thing for months now. Can't you just move on from this? How am I boring you? you? You said it fascinates you. It was fascinating a month ago. Why are you hostile? I'm hostile and angry. All this time I thought you enjoyed the topic. It's an important issue. We talk about it every day in the lab. How is it important? Important to dominate our conversation day in and day out? Quantum mechanics is real. Yeah, as real as the housewives of New Jersey. Right. Can we talk about that? Sure. I'm kidding. It's fine. I'm sorry. Alan, listen. Go on. You want to hear it? What's new in the subatomic room? What's hot with the proton? Sure. It's called entanglement. It's not new. It's a principle which states that when two particles get entangled for a brief period of time, they remain connected and influence each other even when they get separated. Okay, how is that so? Are they connected by some sort of invisible energy? No, no connection at all. Okay, I'll give you an example. Let's say we have two particles representing two ping pong balls, A and B. For some reason, they bump into each other. After that brief encounter, then they get separated a million light years away, forever. Okay, then. Now, even though they're separated by a million light years, both particles continue to affect each other as if some mysterious force still binds them together. Really? You believe this? The theory's called spooky action. No, I don't believe it. Thought so. I, I think it's preposterous. Though several calculations and experiments have proven entanglement and spooky action to be true. I think it goes above the whole natural order of things. You know? So it can't be. And it's my life's mission to contradict this impossible. Always cynical. See, I never doubted that you would doubt something like this. Oh, I doubt it. Well, you shouldn't. Yeah, Australia. Wait, that, that's on the other side of the planet. What are you gonna do there? Find myself, I guess. It's been a year since Gwen left, and I feel terrible. Sometimes I catch myself sitting on this spot talking to myself as if she's still here. A few months ago, I got an email from her saying she met someone, a quality. I can't explain why, but I'm devastated. I guess I really miss her. We were never in a relationship. We never dated, not a kiss nor a hug. It just happened that we shared the same bench one lunch hour two summers ago. We were never in love, never together. I suppose we were, for a brief period of time, merely entangled.